Hey everyone, my name is Omar from Tomico and Friends, and today we're making some nachos, but with some pork carnitas. Let's start by prepping our pork. I got some pork shoulders, usually you use around three pounds of pork. I decided to cut it up into big chunks and remove all the extra fat. You'll see in one section I removed the fat cap. Uh, you want to save that because that fat cap is going to be introduced into our slow cooking method. So yeah, go ahead and get your pork ready. You can season your pork with whatever you want. However, I decided to use some black pepper, salt, cumin, fajita mix, and paprika. After generously seasoning your pork, go ahead and mix it all the way together and set it in your refrigerator for about an hour. As your pork is marinating, go ahead and get everything else ready. I chopped one onion into large chunks that will be added to our pork whenever it's going through its slow cooking method. Afterwards, I chopped up a red pepper along with some additional onions to stir fry later on. Remember, it's important to prep your food so you're not rushing through the actual cooking stages. Once your pork is done marinating, go ahead and get out a slow cooker or an Instapot, whichever one you choose. This recipe normally calls for lard. As I couldn't find it in the grocery stores, I used some shortening along with some butter. So get roughly one pound of shortening and then about four tablespoons of butter, add it in, and then take your fat cap from earlier and put it inside. Let everything melt down and come together. Once your liquid is melted down and ready, go ahead and put your meat inside. Let it start to simmer up. You can also sear the pork prior to, but I did not do that. I should have done that though. Add some more seasonings to your liquid and then let your meat sit there. It's gonna start a slow cooking process. After 20 minutes, go ahead and add some roughly chopped onions along with squeezing the fresh juice of an orange inside of your liquid. Then put the orange peels inside. Let it sit and soak. You're gonna be cooking this for about one hour and 30 minutes. Personally, I will go a little bit longer, maybe two hours or maybe two and a half hours. Really let your pork get tender. While your pork is going through its soaking process, we're gonna make our homemade cheese dip. I cook our onions down for about three to five minutes. Afterwards, I add some seasonings, which includes some cumin, some red pepper flakes, along with some paprika. After our seasonings and onions are cooked, I added one can of evaporating milk. Let your milk come to a gentle boil. Add some more seasonings if you think it needs some more flavor, along with one tablespoon of cornstarch. Stir vigorously. When your milk mixture comes to a boil, go ahead and start adding your cheeses. I added about two cups of cheese, but you can add more if you like. Incorporate your cheese and you'll start to notice that the mix gets thicker. Afterwards, add whatever you'd like. I added some sour cream. Makes it a little bit zesty. Let's work on our onions and peppers. Start by adding your onions and then cooking them down until they're slightly translucent, about seven minutes. Season and pepper your onions during its cooking phase. Afterwards, add your red peppers into the saute pan. Drizzle with a little oil, salt, and pepper. Cook your vegetables down until its desired consistency. I like mine soft with a little bit of crunch on there, so I cooked it down for about maybe 10 minutes. Toss and flip to add a little flair to your food. Our final component are our chips, and we make these, as always, homemade. Take some corn tortillas and cut them into six. Then add some canola oil, toss them inside of a bowl, and then lay them on a baking sheet. Set your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit and then place your tortillas inside. Here's a little tip. If you have a wire rack, go ahead and put your tortillas on there. They cook evenly on top and on bottom. They shouldn't go for no more than 10 to 12 minutes. If you don't have a wire rack, make sure you're watching your chips. They could burn very fast. Let's transfer back to our pork. In the last 25 to 20 minutes, take some Mexican Coke and pour about half into the mixture.
Let that sit and settle. Make sure that your pork is not pink like mine. If it is, go ahead and cut it and then finish it in a saute pan. Afterwards, assemble your nachos. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a like and comment down below. What would you like to see us make next? Anyways, my name is Omar and this is Tom and Friends. Thanks for watching. Bye.